Alright, so this is a picture I took in Japan. This is uh, actually the home of Yoshindo Yoshiharo, which is the world's greatest living samurai sword smith. So this picture was taken as he was forging a sword, and it was really, really dark because he has to be able to see the color of the steel as it's uh, as it's forging. And so we'll do three to one here, just because I want to show you something. I want to show you how much noise there is in this picture. Right? A lot of noise because this was taken at ISO 6400. So I already kind of know that there's going to be a lot of noise just from from what. Higher than I, so I took. So let's hit D. D brings us to develop, and we're going to go into this detail pane. So I like to turn the sharpening all the way off to determine this because Lightroom automatically applies a little sharpening. Now you'll notice there's two things. We'll, we'll look at sharpening later, so just ignore that for now. Um, but there's two things under noise reduction there's luminance and there's color noise. And I'll show you what color noise looks like. And you'll notice there's already a setting. Like, it's already gone up a little bit for color noise because Lightroom automatically does it. Now, if I remove that, can you guys see the colors that pop down? A lot of pictures have that. <clears throat> High ISO pictures will have that. So Lightroom automatically adds, like, about 25, a setting of 25. Now, if I start to move this up, you'll notice it's gone right, already. A lot of times you don't even need 25, but I've never noticed anything bad by leaving it at the default, so I never even really touched this. But I wanted you to see the difference between the two types of noise. Don't even worry about these other two sliders, detail and smoothness. Luminance noise is just like that kind of white graininess, right? So let's go to this guy's face. So if I start moving this over, this luminance, it starts kind of blurring things. It smooths it out, right? It looks it's starting to look better, but you can kind of overdo this. And you can get to the point where everything just looks like <coughs> plastic. You know, and, and now like this guy's skin doesn't really look real, right? So when you do noise reduction, it's essentially blurring, right? So use it in moderation, because I would rather have a picture that's got a little bit of noise but is still sharp than a picture that looks like plasticky and overly uh, overly reduced in noise. Um, and don't use the noise reduction unless unless you need it. Right? But if you know that a picture is noisy, this is where you fix it. And it's pretty amazing, like how much it can actually reduce, right?